Please welcome, with the greatest possible respect, Lenny McClay. I'm the governor! Lenny McLean, on the left, made his reputation as the hardest man in London in the unlicensed ring. They call him the Governor. He's famous for his ferocity and is still fighting in London. What's the last fight you had? Uh, the last, what, with, with, with the things on? Yeah. With, I fought a guy from, uh, uh, a guy challenged me from Tottenham, uh, 21 stone, 6 foot 7. He was only about 23 years old. He wanted a reputation, he, uh, he was a bit tasty when he something. And uh, I fought him at Woodford Open Air. And I tore his head off in about 30 seconds. And then as he went over, I gave him a Santa while he was unconscious. Uh, just to let him know, don't try and get a reputation on the strength of me. What's a straightener? Well, a straightener is like me and you, a straightener. Right. Right, there's no villainy, no kneeing, nutting or kicking or biting. Right. Right, and th then we'll stick to the rules, have a straight and then whoever goes. Right. And, uh, you know, I'd win. And we'd nick a few quid and that's it. Or then I'd say to you, like, would you want an all-in? If you want an all-in, then, then I, I'd, I'd do you with a nut, you know, and uh, I'd make sure I win. You're quick with a nut there, you? Uh, you're quick, you're... Oh, I train every day, got to keep the youngsters at bay. According to Britain's boxing authorities, Neither the chaos at the King's Pub nor the events described by Lenny McLean could ever have taken place in the professional bouts that they oversee. For 60 years, a single body, the British Boxing Board of Control, has ruled over the ring with a tightly drawn set of regulations. It insists on stringent medical checks for all the boxers it licenses to ensure that they're fit to fight. But the London programme has discovered that a new body has set itself up as an alternative to the board. It too is issuing licences to fighters. But its standards are very different from the board's. In some cases, men are being given licences to box who have already been declared medically unfit for the ring. The evidence is that every time they climb into the ring, their lives are at risk. Tonight, we ask, should there be stricter controls over this the toughest game of all.